Lonnie Chen is the director of domestic policy studies at Stanford University, and he joins us now. Good morning to you, Lonnie. Hey, Ainsley. Good to be with you. Good to be with you, too. Why hasn't there been accountability? Is it because Democrats run that state? Well, look, we haven't had a Republican elected statewide here in California in 15 years. There's no real machinery to hold Gavin Newsom, to hold Democrats here accountable. And what you have when you don't have that kind of accountability is you get mismanagement, you get fraud, you get the kinds of things we've seen in California. And voters are frustrated. This is not a partisan issue at the end of the day. It's about voter frustration with leaders being unable to do their jobs, to lead during a time that has been very challenging for the state. Yeah, and I'm hearing that if you look at these signatures, a lot of Democrats on, have signed it too because they're, this is a tipping point for them. The restaurants are closed, the schools are closed, and then you see him go to French Laundry. Was that kind of when everyone had had enough? Yeah, that really animated it, Ainsley. I think that's when people said, you know what, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Our governor's telling us to stay home. Our governor's telling us to avoid public gatherings. And here he is uh, racking up a $12,000 wine bill with lobbyists sitting just a few feet apart from one another at a restaurant enjoying his life when other Californians really had to uh, had to go without these kinds of things, had to go without gatherings, had to go without getting together. But but it's really about more than that, Ainsley. It's about more than just that one dinner. It's about the fact that during this pandemic, our schools remain closed in many parts of California. We still don't have the ability in many parts of the state to do the normal kinds of things, to visit businesses, to eat out. And so those are the kinds of things I think that bother people really, is that the state hasn't made more progress during this time. All right. Well, Lonnie, thank you for coming on with us. If you want to read uh, his op-ed about this topic, it's in the L.A. Times. Thank you so much, Lonnie. Thanks, Ainsley. You're welcome. President Biden is telling migrants not to come to the U.S., but that's not stopping.